Well, help is coming for Dayton residents whose homes were damaged or destroyed by Monday's explosion. Several families have been unable to return to their homes near the Brooklyn Avenue blast scene. That is where we find Michelle Edme, who's following that help that is now on the way. Well, Mark, as neighbors are out and about here and begin their repairs, insurance officials want people to be aware of scams they could be susceptible to if they rush to make decisions. So far, officials have recorded 49 damaged homes and believe that number will continue to rise as more property owners begin to really walk through their homes and take a look at their vehicles for any damage. Two News did some research and learned three key steps to recovery after a disaster. Have an official inspection performed by an adjuster or attorney. Make temporary repairs to prevent further damage and keep those receipts for your claims. And create a list of lost or damaged personal property. Now, I also spoke with the Ohio Insurance Institute, and they're urging victims to be patient and careful. Never, ever give any type of an advance, some type of an advance deposit on the repairs because of the fact that. Um, in many cases, you're going to find that roofer taking the money or the contractor taking the money and run. Which is why you should also check the track record of the roofer or contractor that you've hired and as well that the company is bonded and licensed. Now, earlier I spoke with Lieutenant Governor Mary Taylor and she tells me the Ohio Department of Insurance will be here in the neighborhood tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. As well, the Red Cross is still available for victims. Live in Dayton, Beershaw Ledmay, 2 News, working for you.